Thanks to a word Canadians are becoming more familiar with, Parliament will stay dark until March. The Prime Minister prorogued Parliament again the second time in just over a year. And with little noise from the opposition, a new grassroots movement has emerged. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malefsky, has this story tonight. Terry. Well, Peter, both the Liberal and the NDP leaders are still on vacation, so the opposition still hasn't decided what, if anything, to do about the prorogation of Parliament. And really, there's not much they can do. Right now, Parliament Hill seems eerily festive. The Christmas lights are still on, but there's nobody home. For eight weeks, the dead hand of the Ottawa winter will hold sway, and yet, instead of welcoming two months without the din of question period, plenty of Canadians want the MPs back. A lot of anger and frustration. Christopher White has a Facebook group called Canadians Against Proroguing Parliament, which quickly signed up 15,000 members who condemn Stephen Harper and post pictures of him in dictatorial poses. One deft photoshopper even has Harper as the Queen of Canada. And they're dead serious, they say, about the threat to democracy. If uh, we allow this Prime Minister to get away with this, as we have in the past, then each subsequent PM that we have, Liberal or Conservative, whoever, will feel that you know they'll just be able to sidestep their accountability and do what they want for whatever politically expedient. When people see Parliament shut down, they stand up. Ottawa MP Paul Dewar says he's had a ton of outraged mail. You can do this once, and that was last year when uh, Harper probed uh, to get a, basically to keep his government going. This time, people see it for what it is, and it's just a cynical abuse of power. The sham excuse that has been presented by this government that they've got to be working on the budget as though that justifies proroguing parliament is totally ludicrous. But to all of this, the government keeps saying it needs to recalibrate. Why can't you recalibrate while parliament is in session? Well, of course, uh, the reality is, is that uh, governments oftentimes will use prorogation to recalibrate and, and take a, a look at where we've been and where we're going. Meanwhile, where's the opposition going? With Michael Ignatieff in Europe and Jack Layton snorkeling in Belize, that remains to be seen. As for Stephen Harper, he still hasn't said one word in public about his decision to prorogue. But he will fix that tomorrow here on The National, Peter. Hey, Terry, thanks very much. Terry Malewski in Ottawa tonight. And as Terry mentioned, You'll be able to hear the Prime Minister right here tomorrow night. We'll have an interview with Stephen Harper on The National, his first TV interview of the new year and the first.